Good morning, Windsor High School. I'm Luis Ibanez. I'm Mackie Olson. And this is your Windsor, Windsor High, High School, School Video, Video Bulletin. Bulletin. Here's what's happening on social media this week. Hey Jags, last week's family week went great. We loved getting to meet all of our Windsor High School families throughout the week. This week, it's all about summer. The theme is take a trip to summer and it will be focusing on different aspects of summer throughout the week. To kick it off with Media Monday, the theme is a song that reminds you of summer. So if you want to be featured, go on over to WHS Updates on Instagram and submit your favorite summer song to the Instagram story by 3 p.m. today. Hey everyone, this week's TikTok Tuesday theme is throwback to summer 2019. So make any TikTok that you want to make, any trend that you want to follow with anyone that you want to make it with. The only requirement is that you use a song that was popular from the summer of 2019. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Last week's senior spotlight went extremely well and we loved to get all of our parents involved and hear about our seniors from a different perspective. This week to go along with our summer theme, we want seniors to be sending in videos or pictures that encapsulate their favorite school memory to reminisce the school year before we depart for our summer. Please send these to WHS updates or email by 3 p.m. on Wednesday to be featured. Hey Jags, this Thursday's theme is summer vacation. So teachers, send in a picture of a favorite trip that you've taken to WindsorHSLeadership at gmail.com by 3 p.m. this Thursday. Thanks. Hey everyone, as you may have just heard from Anna, this week's spirit theme is a trip to summer. We thought with summer approaching and school coming to an end, it would be the perfect time to reminisce on last summer. You guys will be free to send in photos or videos of your favorite memories from summer 2019. We hope you guys have lots of fun looking back and sending in your photos or videos for this week. And remember, if you're going to send something in, each submission for each one of these days will be due by 3 p.m. because each video goes up by 4. We can't wait to see what you guys send in this week, and we just want to say thank you for participating in all of our Spirit Week so far. Thank you, and have a great day, Jags. Last week, we had a few parents send WHS updates, dedications about their seniors. But we'd love to hear from more of our parents this week. If you have a WHS senior, please send a video of you shouting out your senior. Please send videos to WindsorHSLeadership at gmail.com by this Friday, and WHS updates would love to feature your senior. As an example, here's Teresa Baker shouting out her daughter, Alexandra Baker. I'm Terry, proud Jaguar mom of a 2020 grad, Alexandra Baker. What a year. Um, there is so much I could say about Alex as we all can about our kids. She is such an incredible package of strength, beauty inside and out, and empathy. She's a bookworm, she's an artist, and she's an athlete. Go number 18. She is crazy funny, I can't even tell you. She is the best friend that anybody could hope to have in their life with her huge, warm, caring heart. And I'm so, so proud of everything that you've done, baby. So proud of your accomplishments this year. Here is acting principal Amy Ziegler with an important announcement. I'm pleased to announce the class of 2020 valedictorian is Elise Oliver. She has a calculated GPA of 4.75. We also have the class of 2020 salutatorians, and this year we have two, Mika Veras and Caitlin Todd, and their calculated GPA is 4.65. To all three, we congratulate you for your academic excellence. The Press Democrat Community Youth Service Awards were announced this last week. Sadly, no Windsor High students were selected for the scholarship. Windsor's candidates for the Youth Service Awards for 2020 were Agriculture, Ashlyn Williams, Arts, Hallie Hartman, 
Athletics, Gracie Hernandez. Community Action, Julia Sawyer. Environmental Science, Mina Burns. English slash Foreign Language, Elise Oliver. Health Sciences, Antonio Vargas. Journalism, V. Lee. Mathematics, Roy Klusener, and Music, Max Rosenthal. Congratulations to all these seniors for their contributions. Friday, May 22nd is final and last day to complete Odyssey requirements. Please be in touch with the counselor or Mr. Statham or Ms. Borland if there are any questions or concerns. Hey everyone, Julia Sawyer, your ASP president. I have some exciting news about Senate Forum. We will be holding one more Senate Forum before the year ends. It will be Thursday, May 21st at noon. Again, that's Thursday, May 21st at noon. And it is our last Senate Forum of the year. We will be holding it over Zoom. All Senators will be getting a link to this Zoom Senate Forum via the Senator Remind. And anyone else that is interested in joining us, please email windsorhsleadership at gmail.com and we will also send you the link. This Senate Forum will have important and detailed information about graduation, among other things. If you have any questions, please email windsorhsleadership at gmail.com and I can't wait to see you guys at our last Senate Forum. This week we ask you, What's something you've learned during quarantine? What is one thing you've learned in quarantine so far? Something I've learned from quarantine um, would probably be self-control, which is mostly from my schoolwork. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of quarantine, I really wasn't putting in that much effort. I wasn't participating in anything, especially for my core, um, or Spanish, or math. <laughs> um, and I didn't have any drive to complete any schoolwork, but recently I found this new flame, I'd call it, of uh, completing things and getting my grades up, and it was just a really healthy kick back in the year that I needed. Something that I have learned during quarantine is definitely um, being patient with what's going on, and I've also been learning how viruses work and how the immune system works, and how vulnerable our bodies are. Something that I learned during quarantine is um, playing my favorite tunes on the guitar. During quarantine, I learned how to be a better baker. During quarantine, I've been learning how to play the piano and bake and cook more foods. I have been trying to play guitar because I was able to find my brother's old one and I was able to fix it. So I'm trying so I'm I'm trying to learn how to use it. I'm trying to learn how to play music or how to fix strings. I have learned that I get bored really easily. I'm becoming short tempered and it's like a ball of yarn that's slowly unraveling and like it's because I've been with my family for the past two months just cooped up in the same house with the same people and it's starting to get repetitive and I'm losing my mind so like I, I figured out the problem I just need to find the solution but so far I made progress just by finding that out. I've learned that I need people. People around me, close to me, even social distance. You gotta have people. Always. As things change rapidly with COVID-19, what WHS sports will be doing in the fall or next year will be communicated fastest on social media and through the Windsor Athletics page. Follow Windsor Athletics on Instagram. Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Bumeyer and I'm so excited to be this year's JV and Varsity Sideline Cheer Coach. 
On the sideline team, we cheer and perform at every home and away football game, as well as perform at all rallies and school events. Tryouts are coming up, so if you're interested in trying out, follow us on Instagram at Windsor High Sideline Cheer to find all tryout information. There is a link in our bio to our app called Band, where all required tryout material is posted. This week, the tryout packet will be posted, and we will also be having virtual tryout clinics on Zoom from May 26th through the 28th. Once you submit your tryout packet, we will give you your tryout date and time. I encourage anyone interested to try out, regardless of your grade or skill set. A reminder to all seniors, Senior Textbook Collection is on Tuesday, May 19th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Here's a feature on students who have been working outside the home during the pandemic. Well, I was a bagger, so, uh, or technically a courtesy clerk, that's what, that's what the job title was, and you would either be bagging or you'd be doing carts or whatever other job that you had. So we are supplied with gloves and masks. Um, I actually have my own reusable mask that my cousin had uh, sewn for me and my brother. Other than that, we are wiping down all surfaces. We're taking precaution, uh, making sure that customers keep their distance at the check stands and just generally trying to make sure that the place is clean and people are keeping their distance. People bought all the toilet paper um, and people just started buying everything. Like the shelves were just that were just dry, there was nothing on them, which meant that, you know, people had to work overtime just to be able to stock all the shelves. So, you know, I, I, I worked till like midnight one time and I have friends that work till like five in the morning and stuff. Basically after my first shift, decided that I'm gonna wear a mask every shift. And about two weeks later, then we had our rule that if you're working and you need be wearing a mask. Then we had about a week later, maybe two, we made it so that the customers had to come in with the mask. I think that was alongside with the uh, county orders. Working there made it, made the probability of my dad who's 60 and my sister who has asthma getting sick a lot higher. And I just, I just didn't want to take a chance. So I just quit and I didn't need the job anyways. So it wasn't really that big of a deal. That's it for now. Stay safe, keep reaching out to your friends and teachers, make sure to take a shower. Remember to follow WHS updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Keep up with the classes and stay positive. And, and we'll see, see you, you next week. week.